Do you want to go for a walk? Shall we go? Come on then. everyone good morning it's Thursday today I think it's the 17th of December now yep it's the 17th of December and the last couple of weeks um, I had every intention of filming a series of festive weekly vlogs but it just didn't quite work out I'm afraid um, and I will explain why basically last week I had kind of plan the week around my books arriving uh, on, I can't remember when they were supposed to arrive now, Friday I think it was. So I kind of planned that week with the hope, well knowing that they would arrive on Friday but unfortunately there was a delay which I found out about on the Wednesday I think it was and I was just really gutted and a bit stressed and I had a lot of things to deal with so filming just kind of went out <laughs> out of the window and there were just a few other things that happened as well that um like other work things that I just needed to get finished and yeah it was just all a bit much so I didn't end up filming hardly anything but I'm super excited to tell you guys that my book arrived yesterday and yesterday we managed to send 600 books out and we have around the same again um, to do so hopefully we'll get them done today and Friday but yeah this week has basically been preparing for the books to arrive and then it will be shipping them out the next couple of days um, but I really wanted to film it I'm, I didn't film anything yesterday just because it was kind of stressful when they arrived and it was raining and um, we just kind of wanted to get them out as quickly as possible. I didn't even really have a chance to take a moment and sit down with the book and just look at it. Um, but I did that this morning and I'm so happy with it. And it's exactly the book that I wanted to write. And it's exactly the book that I wish I'd had when I was first exploring the Peak District. And that's that's when this whole idea came about for Ramble Guide. So I'm so, so happy with it. And so excited for you guys to see it. Um, I'm not gonna show you it too much because I really want it to be a surprise for those of you who pre-ordered. I don't wanna show you like all of the pages and the way it's laid out because it's such a nice thing when you get a book and you can figure that all out for yourself. Um, but I will show you the cover and like the layout, uh, not the layout, but the the exterior um, so you can see kind of how thick it is and yeah, I'll put a little clip on screen of me showing that. So yeah, I'm gonna film today as packing. Harvey and I will be packing. Oslo's being really helpful as well. <laughs> and I might film some bits this weekend because if we manage to get all the rest of the books out today, then I'm hoping to be able to do some 
actually do some festive things like baking and wrapping all my presents and buying all my presents, which I haven't really done yet. Um, and also maybe go, go walking. It's an absolutely beautiful day today and I took Oslo out for a morning walk and I could see the hills and the light was on them so perfectly and I was like, oh, the irony that I've just written a book about walking but I can't go walking today. But not complaining, that's just the way it is and it's just a few days to get these all out so you guys can all enjoy walking in the Peak District, which I can't wait to see you using the book out in the wild. That will be amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get packing now, um, finish my coffee, and I'll take you guys along on our next few days. driving into the Peak District. Um, we managed to get all the books sent out over the last couple of days. So that was like, I think 1,200 books or something like that, which is yeah, kind of amazing, insane. So. Yeah, it was really a lot of work. We kind of worked from like nine until nine each day, I'd say. Um, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, 12 yeah, hour, yeah. doing like 12 hour days. I could, you can tell, I feel like you can tell I'm really tired today. But yeah, we decided to go climbing today because it's supposed to be a nice weekend. Although the sun hasn't quite come out yet, so the rock is looking a bit wet. Um, but we've got a few errands to run before that. I'm actually going to drop off some books at the Hopper Cafe in Hope um, because they're doing a little pop up shop this evening. So. Yeah, they'll be my first stockist, which is really exciting. I knew all along that I wanted my books to be in there and um, they obviously want them there as well, which is great. And then we're going to head down to Eam and go to the Village Green Cafe down there. And we're going to drop some bo books off there as well. Um, she's really excited about them. The lady who owns the cafe, because uh, she got one in the post yesterday, I think. And she was like, I'll have 10, I'll have 12, no, I'll have 20. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's excited and yeah, I think they'll sell quite well this weekend, I imagine, because it's just before Christmas and I imagine it's the kind of thing anyone who stumbles across a book will be like, oh, that'd be a nice gift for this person. So yeah. And it looks, and it looks great. So it's, yeah. you know, catches the eye. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, dropping off some books, getting a coffee, taking Oslo for a walk and then going for a climb. That is the plan of the day. It will be very sporadic filming as has the last few weeks been, but I will do my best.
from a florist in Sheffield. So pretty. Good morning. I had to drop some books off at Edale General Store this morning so thought I may as well bring the boy out on a little ramble while we're out. I'm actually doing the Kinder Scout via Ollabrook walk that's in the book but I'm doing it backwards and I didn't do the whole thing because I don't really have time to go on to Kinder today because I have to drop off a few more books somewhere else. But yeah, it's so nice to be out. It's such a beautiful day. And I just got a few photos of my book in the wild. It feels so good to bring it out here. This is kind of where it all began upon Kinder where I kind of fell in love with walking and decided I wanted to make a guidebook. So being here with the book is an amazing feeling. I thought I should wrap up this very unfestive vlog with something a little bit festive. So I've decided to very quickly do a little bit of festive baking. This is the easiest recipe ever. I'm totally cheating on all parts in that I've bought some ready rolled puff pastry from the co-op and my very lovely neighbor Claire brought us round some homemade mincemeat which I'm really excited to try. Um, so I decided to make some, I don't know what they're called exactly, but mincemeat pinwheels, I think is what I saw them called online. Basically, I'm just gonna wrap up the mincemeat in the pastry and ha have a little bit of an alter alternative to mince pies and just a little bit of ice and sugar on them. Um, but yeah, as you guys will have seen, I've not really had a chance to do anything particularly festive in this video, so I'm sorry about that, and um, I hope that you don't mind watching what I've been up to anyway. Um, but yeah, let's end it with a, something a little bit festive for you guys. <laughs> Harvey's just popping to the post office to take the final few books before Christmas and then that's me signing out for the holidays I think. Um, yeah I'm gonna enjoy the next couple of days, tomorrow's actually Christmas Eve. You guys will see this video tonight, it's the 23rd of December, I'm gonna edit this video as soon as I sign out and you'll see it tonight. So I hope you all have the loveliest Christmas, however you're spending it. I know this year is a little bit of a strange one, but I hope that there are some moments of joy in between everything that's going on. Sending you lots of love and thank you so much for all of the support this year as well. It's been a crazy year for me and I'm so excited to see how this channel goes in 2021 and 
more books hopefully and yeah lots of exciting things coming up in the future so yeah thank you massively for all your support for watching the videos for clicking the like button and everything else um all the comments and messages that i get from you guys is just amazing merry christmas from me harvey and oslo and see you all very soon